Hi, hello, welcome back to Bioenergetics. My name is Devraj and today I'm going to look at shaking. Shaking the body is a great thing that you can do either as its own bioenergetic practice in itself or as a really good way to conclude and integrate at the end of another bioenergetic practice. And there are a couple of questions that naturally come up when we consider this topic of shaking. Number one, how to do it properly. And number two, how to induce it spontaneously. So number one, how to do proper shaking. Basically you stand with your feet about shoulder width or maybe a little bit wider apart and the outsides of your feet roughly parallel and your knees bent. And then you begin, eyes open or eyes closed, feeling into your legs and just seeing if there's like a natural kind of trembling there that you can allow to propagate up your body. Great if there is, but for most people there isn't. So then you have to just kind of fake it until you make it. Now you'll notice I'm shaking vertically and that's important. You know, the kind of shaking we're doing in body-based therapy and bioenergetics specifically is always vertical. We're not hurling our body from side to side. Now there's nothing wrong with that and you may get some level of catharsis from it, but the vertical shaking is there to support the deeper relaxation of the muscles and the movement of energy up the body. It actually comes from Hindu spirituality originally, Kundalini. So we're vertically shaking, we're grounded stance, knees bent, and then there's two other things to really watch out for in shaking. The first is to try and relax your neck so that your head can just bob up and down. A lot of people, when you see them shaking, they're shaking their body and their head is locked solid, their neck is absolutely fixed because they're trying to maintain control from up here in the mind. And this is not really giving them anything. So try to relax your neck and just allow your head to bob up and down. The second important point to remember is to really focus on the out breath, to really breathe out deeply and make a sound. Because when you breathe out like this, you know, your body relaxes naturally. So altogether it looks like So that's a good way to shake. Now let's look at spontaneous shaking because ideally, you know, when we want to be able to feel into our body and just kind of allow a natural shake to come. But that isn't easy. But there is a little hack, a little trick that you can use. So standing in our nice grounded stance like we just discussed, we begin off kind of fake it till you make it shaking. And then what we do is we lean slightly back. Have your eyes open for this. Lean slightly back and press your pelvis a little forward at the same time. And what you'll notice is just before you kind of hit a point where you're going to fall over, your body starts to shake. It's a really healthy practice because it's a great way of training your mind to allow yourself to let go. It can feel a little bit scary when you first do it, but you just learn to sit on that edge, so to speak, and just keep mining that shake at that point just before your body would naturally start to fall backwards. Of course, make sure you feel grounded, have your eyes open. If you're worried you're going to fall over, then, you know, come, come back up to vertical. But this is a great way to practice spontaneous shaking. Okay, thank you for tuning in and happy shaking. Speak to you soon.